Hello, good day everyone. This is Tefs, welcome back to this channel. We have a Nova 32 inch LED TV, model LED TV 32A5, that is not powering on and shows no standby light indicator. I'll show you how to fix it. If you are interested in electronics and want to learn how to repair TVs and other electronic gadgets, you've came to the right channel. So be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss a video like this. So let's get started. The TV is not turning on, so as usual, let's first measure the voltages. Let's measure the voltages at the cathode of those rectifier diodes. No voltages were measured. But the main capacitor is charged at about 312 volts, which means the main fuse is okay. Let's discharge the main capacitor for safety before removing the hybrid board. Let's remove the plastic insulator. It seems that the board has never been repaired, there are no signs of fresh solder on the joints. Let's measure the PWM VCC voltage, we can measure it on this capacitor. I'm plugging in the TV now. The voltage is fluctuating. Let's set the multimeter to max min mode. The maximum is 14.991 volts and the minimum is 10.474 volts, with an average of 12.577 volts. 
The TV now is unplugged. And the main capacitor is charged again, so let's discharge it. Normally, the VCC fluctuates because the PWM driver is not starting normally. The possible reason is the power MOSFET, so let's remove it and test whether it is defective. In testing a MOSFET we use diode mode. The MOSFET is switching on and off, seems the MOSFET is ok. We can also test whether the PWM driver is working or not, measuring between the gate and the source if there is a pulsing voltage. I'm plugging in the TV now. We don't have the pulsing voltage, the PWM driver may be defective. If the PWM driver is defective we usually modify it using the STRW6053S, but let's try to replace the PWM driver this time.
Let's remove this PWM driver from this donor board. The PWM drivers almost all are similar, but they have different part numbers. So never mind the part number. Before soldering the PWM driver let's put flux first, many flux fanatics are complaining if we don't use flux. The air gun is too hot, let's adjust it to a lower temperature. The PCB board bubbles. That occurs when the hot air gun is too hot. The bubbling doesn't damage the circuit. Let's clean the messy flux. Let's test between gate and source if we have a pulsing voltage. I'm plugging in the TV now. As you can see we have a pulsing voltage now at about 3 volts. Let's solder back the power MOSFET. In repairing the main power supply especially when I replace the power MOSFET, 
the PWM driver, or any component of the circuit, I always solder the 220 ohms resistor parallel to the AC line during the testing period. We don't know if the PWM is not good, that may the power MOSFET to get short and damage the rectifier diode and other components, we don't want that to happen. So I always series the 220 ohms resistor, you can test it without the resistor if you want, that will be fine or become worse. Let's remove this thermo resistor series at the AC line, and solder the 220 ohm resistor. Let's test it if we have an output voltage now. As you can see we have an output voltage now at 12.06 volts and 26.24 volts. Seems the power supply is working now. Let's remove the 220 ohms resistor and solder back the thermo resistor. Let's place back the hybrid board and see if it's really working.
Looks working now. A few moments later. The TV works amazingly. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. Please remember to show your support for this channel by liking and subscribing. Also, be sure to hit the notification bell to stay updated. This is Tefts, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.